HP, thinkers are great, but doers change the world. Yeah! True innovation changes the way we live. Hi, I'm Matt Miller. When Fort Totten was built here almost 150 years ago, it was on the cutting edge of military technology. Since then, each successive war has triggered rapid developments in the tools of warfare, radically changing military strategy in the process. And now, in the 21st century, robots are transforming modern militaries around the world. War is no longer just a matter of how many troops and weapons you have. It is quickly becoming an issue of how many sophisticated robots are attached to each unit. Robots that can save lives and robots that can eliminate the enemy. Now, those innovators who design the best robots may be building the most powerful militaries of the future. The conflict is coming where it will be primarily machine on machine. Today's gamers are tomorrow's robot warriors. You have to have a robot that's strong enough to actually grab that person and get them out of harm's way as quickly as possible. When 9-11 happened, John was a senior in high school, and the, he was in ROTC, and they all enlisted. So I realize it's becoming ancient history, but for us, it's a very real thing. Private First Class John Hart of the Army's 1st Battalion Airborne was 20 years old when he was killed in an ambush in Iraq in 2003. For Private Hart's father, it was a life-altering event. And um, still for uh, soldiers in his uh, age category, um, they experience these issues every day, and uh, we feel that um, Perhaps more of the nation's attention should be focused on solutions that, that can help them. It, for us, it, it was a real and living thing. And Richard and I and our other business partners here decided to make uh, a, 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 a difference. So Hart abandoned his career in health management software. He and his brother Richard started Black Eye Robotics with $3 million from the U.S. Department of Defense and another million from investors. Here in Tingsboro, Massachusetts, almost half a world away from Afghanistan and Iraq, Hart and his team are developing their Landshark robot, which disables improvised explosive devices, or IEDs. We still got a place up here, bro. Hart's Landshark detector scans roads ahead of military patrols. It searches for common IED detonators, like cell phones, and warns soldiers away from potential blasts. <laughs> The Landshark's arm destroys suspected bombs, using powerful jets of heavy water to disrupt the detonators. The company declined to let us film the arm in action, citing security concerns, but the idea is for the Landshark to be expendable. That's the ultimate objective. We just want practical equipment that can be uh, destroyed without uh, tears and heartbreak. According to the Department of Defense, twice as many soldiers were killed in Afghanistan in the first quarter of 2010 compared to the first quarter of 2009. The majority of those deaths were due to IEDs. Several of Hart's robots are dedicated to soldiers killed in action. Men and women Hart believes could have been saved by robotic detection. He hopes the Land Shark becomes standard equipment in infantry units in war theaters around the globe. There's no reason Lance Corporals or PFCs should go down roads that aren't inspected, go through door frames that have insurgents behind them. Those events can be prevented with low cost, reasonably uh, accessible technology. Black Eye Robotics is trying to capitalize on the mid-sized niche. It is selling chassis to major defense contractors and is expecting Navy land forces to deploy land sharks in Afghanistan. The land shark is being deployed on the home front too. The terrorists who destroyed the World Trade Center boarded their planes at Boston's Logan Airport. The bomb squad at Logan is using the land shark to detect potential bombs planted in cars or baggage or explosives worn by suicide bombers. The Boston area has become a hub of military robotic development. iRobot is another Boston company that makes IED clearing robots. 3,000 of its latest PAC bots are deployed in Afghanistan and Iraq. 
Soldiers operate the robots remotely, seeing through video glasses what the robot is registering with its cameras. This robot, Scooby-Doo, by the way, is a great story. Retired Vice Admiral Joe Dyer is the head of iRobot's military development and production. This is the head off of a dead robot. You know, we hate to lose our robots, but if everyone means that someone's son or someone's daughter came back safely, uh, then it's a good trade. Knowing the robots have their backs can leave a deep impression on the soldiers who operate them. Big burly uh, sergeant comes into the depot uh, with the robot in his arms, tears coming down his cheeks, and he asks the technician to fix the robot. They look at it and say, we don't think we can fix your robot, but we'll give you another one. He says, you don't understand. I want Scooby. Robots like these are built for today's soldiers who grew up in the digital age. Today's teenagers can literally put their head in the game. They're a participant in the virtual world. My generation still looks like that as a guy sitting in front of a screen with a controller. That's an important difference. And today's gamers are tomorrow's robot warriors. Tomorrow's warriors will be working with robots we've only just begun to imagine, like this jellyfish robot. If you think about a, a, a jellyfish uh, that can change shape and that can uh, advance with a very different form of locomotion than we're used to in today's robots, you'll start to get a feel for the utility of uh, Kimbot Jambot. A robot to be able to slide under a door or to slide through small orifices. In Israel, the Army is integrating iRobot's pack bots into many of its units to neutralize IEDs, like the one shown in this Hamas video. Other robots are designed to help minimize casualties in close combat. In this training exercise, a special forces team is simulating a coordinated entry into a building. There may be gunmen or booby traps waiting for them. In the past, they would have shot their way in, but now they throw in this iDrive robot. The robot scans for deadly tripwires that could detonate hidden explosives. Moving from room to room, the robot's multi-cameras search, exposing a gunman. The force moves in, knowing exactly where the danger is. When we come back, combat medic robots that haul wounded soldiers off the battlefield. You have to have a robot that's strong enough to actually grab that person and get them out of harm's way as quickly as possible. 